see guys here. We're going to do a little bit different type of uh, review today. More like a warning. Um, this whole thing is a Davis Industries out of Chino, California. Derringer 22 mag. Model number DM-22. Um, I've had this, shot it a couple of times. Had it, you know, just had it in the uh, gun room kind of stash just in case I ever needed to grab it quick for some weird reason, if you know what I mean. And just left it uh, loaded in the closet. This particular one shoots 22 mag, pretty decent round. But uh, I picked it up the other day, and the way you uh, check the action on this one is you swing this little lever forward and the barrels actually pop out. This is the extractor here, spring loaded, such as it is. And there's your two chambers and two barrels, two firing pins. Well, I opened it up, looked at it like that, and something caught my eye there. This cartridge is fine. No indentations, but I saw this one, and it's got an indentation like uh, right on the rim, like a firing pin hitting it. And I was like, what the heck? So I pulled it out, and sure enough, the, the dot right here matches the dot right here, the firing pin. So I was going to take it apart. I started looking, not a lot on the internet, other than some people shooting it. Um, Davis Industries started in 82. Uh, real low cost guns, blah, blah, blah. They're made of like a die cast zinc alloy. Um, long story short, they ended up uh, being sued in 1995 because their other main weapon, which is a P380 which I'm sad to say I also have. Um, I've never shot it though. I have shot this one a couple of times. But anyway, in 1995, they had to sell a lawsuit where the P380 exploded and a guy sued them for it. Um, after I got to looking, I found a warning, a recall warning from the AFTE Journal from July, 1990. Davis Industry Derringer Model DM-22 Warning Davis Industries Double Barrel Derringer Model DM-22 and 22 Magnum Caliber with a cross bolt safety have been known to wear the shoulder of the hammer, allowing the hammer to see close to or on the firing pins when the safety is in the on position. The firing pins are free floating and do not have springs to prevent uh, forward movement. The situation creates potential for accidental discharge. Well, 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 looks like that's exactly what I experienced. So this gun's not even safe enough to leave loaded anywhere. Um, so don't shoot it, don't buy it. It's junk, P380's junk. Now you're gonna see a copy of this now, which company Cobra bought the plans. Now, I don't know if Cobra stuff's good, bad, or whatever. I'm going to find out, though, um, and see, you know, how they differ from the way these were manufactured. Um, Cobra bought all the plans and, I think, actually machines and stuff uh, from Davis after they shut down. Um, I'm going to tear this apart because I don't see any videos of how to do that and see if I can figure out what went why and if I can make it better. I really don't know why, it's just junk. Don't buy junky guns. So you're probably going, well, hey, see, Max, you bought that and you bought the other one. Well, I get a mulligan on this, guys, because uh, I inherited these, uh, so to speak. Uh, the little woman's ex uh, bought the two guns, um, so she had them and brought them with her. Uh, apparently the guy liked to 
liked to backpack, so he needed a gun, <clears throat> bless his heart, against bears. And this is the gun that he carried in his backpack in case he ran across a bear. I'm not going to go any further into that than that, but uh, so I got to pass on them. I didn't buy these guns. I'm going to tear them down. Um, if you don't care about seeing that, just end here. Please subscribe and like. Uh, if you want to see how it tears down, just hang on. C Max here. Um, here's the Davis DM22 hunk of junk broken down. I want to apologize for the poor camera work uh, at the beginning of the video. Actually, I recorded that. That was one of the first videos that I recorded. Uh, obviously, I didn't have my technique down very well. Um, and I started making this, and I took, took it apart, and the more I thought about it, the more disgusted I got with the pistol, and it's just been in the magnetic tray inside the bag um, for a year or so. But uh, I was watching a video on one of my uh, new YouTube buddies, uh, Gun Enthusiast, and you can see his link down at the bottom, where he was doing a review on uh, Bond Arms, 45 Long Colt uh, Derringer, and he happened to mention the Davis uh, Derringer. And I got to thinking, yeah, and I'm like, I responded back, and I'm like, yeah, you you don't know, you know, it's actually dangerous. And I got to thinking, and I'm like, I need to go on and finish it and put the warning out to people. Um, 
But you saw earlier what what the port was, what it did. One thing that you weren't able to see uh, was the ammunition very well. So I'm going to zoom in on it so you can see the head of this. And I, I tell you, it really kind of makes me sick to my stomach because, you know, I used to put this in my pocket sometimes and carry it. Um, and just, but, you know, I would check it every once in a while and I never saw the indentation on the, uh, on the show, you know, on the casing here, uh, before. So when I saw that, I was really surprised. But when I think about what could have happened, um, you know, I, I, this needs to be told and you need to not shoot it, get rid of it, what have you. So I'm not going to even reassemble this gun. It's going to stay in this condition because if I reassemble it, someone might shoot it uh, and or hurt themselves. So this is just one I'm going to, I'll leave in pieces. I'm not going to throw it away because you never know what you may do. Um, but uh, I'm, you're not going to see me reassemble this gun. So I don't want to uh, really teach anybody how to manipulate or use this pistol in any way because, in my opinion, it's extremely dangerous. Uh, also, I'll probably do a video uh, on its companion, which I happen to have the box and everything for on it, which is the P380. And if you look at it, you're going to say, wow, it looks like the Cobra P380. Well, I hope it's, theirs is better. Oh, it's got the lock on it. I hope theirs is better than this. Uh, but this is the pistol that uh, exploded and put the company out of business. So I'll probably make a separate video on that. But did want to zoom in. And let's see if I can get some good lighting here. Bear with me a second. Let me try to zoom. All right, come on. There we go. You can see the, the indentation on that one. Now, both of these were the ones that were in the chamber. Um, and I just swung the barrel back and went, whoa. And like I said, just, just the thought of that really 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 bugs me uh, to think what could have happened you know in my pocket could have shot somebody else could have shot myself in a very bad place but uh, moral of the story is don't buy cheap crappy guns they're not worth it S save your money up and buy real name brand quality weapon it's just too important not to do all right that's going to wrap it up on this uh, remember anybody you know that has this tell them hunk of junk dangerous don't carry it don't mess with it and don't be around anybody with one all right well uh thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe keep your finger off the trigger always know where your muzzle's pointed every time you pick up a weapon Check the action. Be safe. Have fun. Have a great day.